So there are plenty of apps and social media platforms in, within the world of the internet. And they're ever increasing, continuously getting larger and larger. As stated by Esteban Ortiz, this chart shows that there are some large social media sites that have been around for 10 or more years, such as Facebook, YouTube, and Reddit, but other si large sites are much newer. As you can see, TikTok, which is a recently developed application, has exponentially increased a very large amount within the past few years. Well, Facebook, has had a slow but steady increase. And these are the kinds of apps and social media that are taking over and they're taking over the social media world. Social media has become a large part of the youth and how they spend their time. Often now, becoming an influencer has become commonplace. Lots of kids are even dropping out of college or not even going to school because they have the goal set to become an influencer. They, there are, as you can see, there are plenty of apps, as we stated before, and social media that these influencers can have a platform on. Peter Suki states, there are 500,000 active influencers on Instagram. This is Instagram alone. With large apps such as TikTok and YouTube as well, there are even more influencers on these platforms. Social media is a very large presence in our world today. It affects body image and our day-to-day -day lives even more than we would ever notice at this point because it's been around for so long. Not only is the social media market being, not only is the social media market increasing exponentially throughout the years as technology advances, so is the smartphone and smart device market. Uh, 1.52 billion smartphone smart devices were purchased and used within. 2019 compared to 680 million smartphones in 2012. Now, not only are smartphones being pr produced, but smart devices such as watches, which there were 69.3 million units of smart watches sold in The market for smart devices and technology and social media keeps increasing with the technological, technological advances we have in our society. Uh, IDC states for Business Wire, a transformation is underway that will see the worldwide market for the Internet of Things solutions growing from 1.9 trillion in 2013 to 7.1 trillion in 2020. And this is projected to continue to increase. Now, the internet of things and social media and technology isn't so bad, even though it's taking over the world today and could potentially lead to a, what I would like to call a Wally situation where we rely so much on technology that we've lost most of our sense of society and community. It has its benefits, such as Braille terminals, which are a, an education device used for the visually impaired to be able to read and use technology. Baker states, it's a much more time efficient and less costly alternative than once upon a time ordering a Braille textbook, which could take months to receive. It makes education and day-to-day -day life easier for the visually impaired, and there are plenty of new devices being created for those with disabilities. As simple as it sounds, the, the simplest solution would be to just put down devices and to 
stop relying on them so much and rely a little more on the human race again. Because a hundred years ago, we did not have all this technology and we survived just fine. Yes, there are technological advances are a great benefit, but we don't necessarily need them. Even though it is difficult to just put down the phone, you can do it. Thank you, do you have any questions? I do have two questions for you. Thank you guys, my apologies for interrupting the applause. Um, let's talk about your sources. How reliable and valid were they? So they're there right now. Tell me how reliable and valid and how you know that those are reliable and valid sources. Uh, a lot of my sources I found from very reliable places or the initial location that I found the information got it from a reliable source or um, or study. Okay, uh, and if you had more time, what additional research would you do on this? I think I would have looked into different, different kinds of devices used for the disabled and impaired. Because, yes, the Braille terminal is one example, but there are plenty of, of other devices 